Hey Internet, this is Big Al from Paler again. Welcome to the show. Today we're going to do an isometric. So, let's drop straight down into OSNAP. Right-click OSNAP, left-click Settings. There we go. From our Draft Settings window, we got our Object Snaps. We've been here before. We know what we have to have lit up. Now let's go to the new tab, Snap and Grid. Give it a click. Drop straight down into your Snap Type. Turn off Rectangular and turn on os uh, Isometric. Everything else is OK, so hit OK. Notice what happens to your uh, crosshairs. It's now an Isometric. OK, let's pick up uh, a line and let's start someplace around here, for instance, and let's go this way, four and a half inches, 4.5, Enter. Now I want to go this way. I can't. It won't let me do it. Hit F5 on top of your function keys. F5. There you go. Enter in 2.5. 2.5, enter. Let's go straight up in the air, three quarters of an inch. Hit F5, come up, points. 0.75, enter. I'm copying this right from a plan in front of me, so I know you can't do it. I just want to show you a couple things that we're doing. I don't want you to get distracted by doing the plan. Anywho, let's come this way, 0.75. Okay, and my plan says if I hit F5, I can come up here, 0.625, 5 eighths, and it says if I hit F5 again and come this way, then I can go 1.5, enter, enter. Okay, let's do some copying. Pick up copying command and copy what? This and this and this. Right click, pick it up here, drop it there, right click, enter. Very good. Okay, right click. Copy again. Copy what? Copy this. Left click, right click, left click, left click, left click, left click, right click, enter. Okay, let's do some trimming. Pick up the trim window, put a trim window around the whole thing, right click, take this out and this out. Hey, that lower part of my plan is done. Looking over here, let's go straight up in the air, so let's hit F5 and let's go from here up one inch. One, enter. And let's go over one and an eighth. One point one two five. Enter. Let's go straight up. Point five. Let's go back over one point one two five. And let's come this way. F five. Point seven five. Enter. Enter. So we got that. Let's pick up copy command again, and let's go from here to here to here. Right click. Click from here to here. Okay, enter. There it is. Right click, repeat the copy command. Copy this line. Left click, right click, left click, left click, left click, left click, right click, enter. Okay, now we know that two intersecting lines define a point. So let's make one line going down from there. And let's make another line from here, this way. Let them shoot right by each other. All lines can be drawn. All lines can be erased. All lines can be extended. All right, then. Let's do some trim. Pull up the trim window. Trim the whole thing. There we are. Right click. Work from the outside in. Click, click, and click. Left click, left click. OK. Enter. Right click, enter. Let's extend a line from here. Let's hit F5. Extend a line from here, this way, and let's pick up a line from here. Go this way, okay. Trim window, left click, left click and drag, left click, right click, okay. Go from outside in, and right click, enter. We got one line left to make. Whoops. Got one line left to make. From here, F5, take it straight down right there. There you have it. How's that? Okay. So, there's an isometric. And we're going to do more complicated ones as time goes on.